This is a short tutorial for Datasite Consortium needs, showing how to set up and manage the different types of accounts in the consortium structure in Datasite Fabrica. Log into Fabrica with your consortium need credentials. Once logged in, you will see the Consortium Lead dashboard. Make sure you've added all the contacts to the contact roles in the Consortium Lead profile. If you need to change, update or add new contacts, you can do this in the Contacts tab. Click Add Contact and just enter the given name and the family name and the email address and then click add contact. Now click update member, scroll down to the contacts tab and you can update the contact information for the different contact roles where relevant. You should also make sure all of the billing information is provided. Click Update Member. Now add a consortium organisation. To do this, go to the Consortium Organisations tab. Click Add Organisation. You need to add the consortium organisation name and the organisation name to display, which can be the same or different. You need to add a system email contact. This is a very important contact because they will receive the automated password set email and they will also receive the password reset emails. Click Add Consortium Organization. Now make sure that the contacts have been added to the Consortium Organization account. To do this, go to the Contacts tab. Click Add Contact. And then into the first name and the family name and the email address. Once you've done this, click Add Contact and then return to the Consortium Organization dashboard using the breadcrumbs at the top. Click Update Organisation and scroll down to the Contact section and enter the contact information. Finally, add a repository to the newly created consortium organisation. Navigate to the Repositories tab, click Add Repository and include the name of the repository and again, very importantly, system email contact who will receive the set password email. There are many other options for filling in metadata about this repository account and we recommend that you use as many as possible. Click add repository and you'll see that the new repository account has been created. You can scroll, you can navigate back to the dashboard by clicking on the name of your consortium at the top here in the breadcrumbs and you can see all the info about the consortium in the info tab.